What up, guys? What's going on? It's fight week, baby. I guess every week's fight week nowadays, but this is a, a big fight week, so we're going to get into the intro because Josh is pissed because I be clapping just like those cheeks. You heard? Ladies, you got <laughs> 10 minutes. Hours, hours, hours. Okay, what's up, guys? Uh, all right, so we're about to watch the champion. Wait, Jan he's versus? Champ? No, yeah, he, yeah, he's a heavyweight champ. He took the. I think he's. Who do you take the belt from? I'm sure we'll find out in the highlight that his. Who the hell did he take the belt from? Not he <laughs> took the belt. He, he he. Did he? Oh, tripping, 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 tripping. Sick. He just fought Daniel Cormier. He's in the light heavyweight division. Oh, okay. Remember? Okay. We were going for DC. No, was we? I know he fought recently. I don't, yeah, I'm tripping. I, I, I feel like... I, no, but DC's not in the he light heavyweight. He wouldn't fight light heavyweight. Oh, he fought Dominic Reyes for the belt because John Jones moves to heavyweight. There we go. Sorry. Woo! Forgive me. I don't know if you guys... Are, Jesus Christ, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm going to edit a lot of that out, but also not. Nah, no, <laughs> not because they gotta, I got to... I want them to see the process, but no. All right, so this is what happened. John Jones is the champion at 205. John Jones is moving up to light heavyweight. Not to heavyweight now. To fight uh, Francis Ngannou and mm -hmm. to fight Stephen Miocic. Mm -hmm. They're fighting next. It's the, it's the winner of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, right now, uh, Israel Asanya is moving up from 185 because he already cleaned out that division. There's maybe one or two people left that he never fought, but they didn't. They didn't Scrubs. win. They didn't win against people he beat in terrible fashion, so they didn't get so, that. But um, so that's what happened. So uh, Israel Asanya is moving up to 205 to fight for this belt. He wants to become the next double champ. He wants to hold. He's holding the belt at 185, and he's about to fight for this belt. So I feel like a lot of people be double champs nowadays. Not a lot, but there's a few. Uh, McGregor was a double champ yep. at, at some point yep. simultaneously. The, uh, Daniel Cormier was a double champ simultaneously, yep. but that was uh, for a short time while John Jones wasn't there. And then, blah, blah, blah. We gotta talk about that because I love DC. Love you, DC. Um, also. Max Holloway M M Amanda Mafia. Yeah yeah <laughs> Joe Rogan yo. yo shout out to Max Holloway you got, I, I fuck with Max Holloway yo. Um, And then Amanda Nunez Is a double champ as well I wouldn't say it's happening a lot But it's becoming Like less of a rarity I would say I mean it's still a rarity To hold two belts like, No I like, get it but You're hearing it more You're hearing it a lot more But uh, Yeah So We're about to watch The highlights from Jan And just see the what, what If this Polish power Do you think the Polish power Is real? I think it's real, but I think the airbender is way more real. Mm, okay. Well, let's get into what the UFC's little best UFC fight things. The UFC's best fights from Jan. I can't I can't root for Jan because whoever I root for wins. Mm. And I can't do Izzy like that. Oof. He's just a solid. There's something yeah, there's something about the yeah, that European strength. He's a Viking, bro. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. Like straight he's, up. He's 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 one of the dudes that are coming off the boat to take your fucking village. Yo, the Polish have been through a lot. Latifi, that's his name. I saw Latifi one time on on, on the block. I was selling Merv. We saw him on the block oh, in yeah, New York. We did see him, yeah. My man, I, my man had on a, a wicked nice shirt, if I remember. Yeah, he was looking he was looking sharp. We were we were uh, there with uh, with the, the the cast of rhythm and flow and stuff like that. It was fun. Damn, bro. Versus Clack. Damn, bro. I mean, he's a fucking beast. But mm, the, yo, that's just disrespectful, bro. From the standing position. To, wow. I don't think I've ever seen that. Choking somebody out standing up. Bro, that's just that's that's fucking savage. How do you that's what that's what that's how he takes down bears in his country, like in his homeland. Standing submissions like that is insane. That's like a knockout on the ground. I guess that works too, but that happens way more often, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And he's on the floor like he's nice like that on the floor. Damn, bro. Him that's the same. That's almost the oh, that's almost the same choke that other um that Aljamain had the Funk Master. Him, my boy's toes curling. Look at him. 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 You know what that means? With my belt. Give me that belt. <laughs> I just love that the UFC is so multinational and shit mm. like that. You know what I mean? 
It's not fucking Bra- Brad. Yo, Af- Africa holds most of the belts right now. You got Kamaru Usman mm-hmm. from Nigeria. You have Israel Asanya for. Oh my God, Luke Luke Rock Luke Rockhold. I like Luke Rockhold, but he was just a little too cocky sometimes, man. He was like. Just then, like and, arrogant, and then God, I don't want to leave him, leave him out. He, he's not a champion. He's no? he's fighting for the belt. Oh, okay, next okay, time. okay. Well, yeah, so it would make it would make. Yeah, it would. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They try. He's trying. Trust me. He's going for the belt. Francis Ngannou going for the belt. <laughs> My man, fucking. They Damn, call him. They bro. call him the the Ken the Ken doll of the UFC. Like he's just like a, yeah, he Calvin Klein ads and all this shit. Like that's Good what he him. does. Good for him. But uh, oh, he gets knocked the fuck out too. No, no, yeah, <laughs> he was a champ though too at two five. So let's not. I don't want to disrespect Luke Rockhold. Nah. He gets. He he just comes off like he has like this very arrogant attitude. I'm like, why? If you bro? Were, yo, if you were a pretty boy getting Calvin Klein contracts and knocking motherfuckers out too, I dare you to be humble. Yeah, I'll take your bitch too, my nigga. Like, what you want, nigga? Like, you better not. Be don't level up. <laughs> nah, that's true. Oof. Oh, damn. Anderson looks like he's going to win, but he doesn't. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Can you tell? I don't think the highlight would be here. Mm. This is his best fight that he lost. Ooh. Sleep. Corey Sleeper Anderson. Cell. I'm, I'm, he's in the Bellator now. He, he, he bounced. He, oh, damn. Mm. Damn, bro. Oh, damn. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Yo, John Jones is quite possibly... The greatest fighter, nigga. I think I think Israel's gonna Israel could possibly top him, but I think we got to see when it's all said and done, because that's like saying like you know obviously people think that Michael Jordan, I mean LeBron is better. Some people mm-hmm. think that he's better, but we got to see at the end of the career. Let's just compare the stats what it comes out to. You know what I'm saying? That one Gray. This is the this is uh, this is the yep. This is the Nate. Look at his, look. You see that? You see that? You see that? You see this? Just pay attention to this. Ow. Pay attention. Watch. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember watching this, bro. That shit is fucked up. Yeah, and, he he took ma- him, and he took him out with a shot to the head. Dog, that didn't even isn't even what ended him. Shout out to Dominic because that's fucking crazy, bro. Hey, yo, not for nothing. The how he how Dominic how Dominic did John Jones. A lot of people thought Dominic won, and I thought John, I thought Dominic was coming to fucking. Destroy this dude, and this nigga had. Damn. He was like, "Hold my fucking beer," and he went ham on his fucking ribs, nigga. Like, all right, guys. Well, yeah, that that was another video. This is fight. This just this is like an important fight week. We're yep. gonna be giving you hella videos. It's just gonna be fun. Um, hey, and to the guy that called uh, Chacha Gay Samoan in the hey. comments, it's not nice. That's not nice, man. That's not like, what the. F- Hey, you don't have to bring that up. I don't give a fuck. Yo, you know what? It was on one of these videos. No, it's so good. It's so good. I weigh two sixty five. You see the gloves. You see the hands, my nigga. Let's get in the ring, bro. Yeah. You know what? That'll be some fun shit. We can get in the ring with a uh, subscriber. Oh, like Sean O'Malley did. Yeah, but I don't think Sean O'Malley was just toying with niggas. I don't. I don't. I don't fight like that. You were just fucking. I will just. I put you in the you, you gotta be careful about fucking talking shit to a guy that's way heavier than you. Because and, and well, call, we don't know. We don't know what he looked like. What if, what if he looks like fucking Brock Lesnar? Still, you can't call a guy this big gay. Because what you know what happens? What if you're right? He's gonna. I'll, <laughs> all right, then. well, guys. All right, guys. Well, the W said peace out. What a weird ending. This is. <laughs> Thank you.